Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing well. Well, I just went to the doctor and he told me I've got high blood pressure. So he recommended an antihypertensive medication, metoprolol. Metoprolol? Oh, I think I've heard of that. Oh yeah, what do you know about it? Metoprolol, most commonly known as low pressor, is a beta-adrenergic blocker. Metaprolol blocks the beta-1 receptors, which causes a decrease in heart rate, myocardial contractility, cardiac output, and a decrease in the rate of conduction through the AV node. This also helps to lower blood pressure and decrease the frequency of angina pectoris. Metaprolol can also lower the risk of repeated heart attacks, treat those with heart failure, and increase activity and tolerance. Metaprolol is taken orally and starts working after 15 minutes. It can also be given through an IV. The most common side effects are fatigue, weakness, blurred vision, chest pain or discomfort, confusion, dizziness, faintness, or lightheadedness when getting up suddenly from a lying or sitting position, shortness of breath, and slow or irregular heartbeat. Other side effects include pulmonary edema, erectile dysfunction, anxiety, depression, dizziness, drowsiness, insomnia, memory loss, mental status changes, nervousness, stuffy nose, wheezing, constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, flatulence, gastric pain, heartburn, nausea, vomiting, hypotension, urinary frequency, rash, hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, and back and joint pain. Metaprolol should not be taken with calcium channel blockers such as verapamil and diltiazem because they intensify the effects of metaprolol. Metaprolol should also not be taken with other antihypertensive medications or alcohol because it can intensify the hypotensive effect. Do not use metaprolol if you already have AV block and sinus bradycardia. Metaprolol should be used cautiously in those with asthma, myasthenia gravis, hypotension, peripheral vascular disease, diabetes mellitus, depression, and older adults and those who have a history of severe allergies. You should take metaprolol as directed and at the same time every day. It can cause drowsiness, so avoid driving or operating heavy machinery until you know how this drug affects you. Change position slowly to minimize orthostatic hypotension. It is important for nurses to know all this information to be able to watch for signs and symptoms. Take care of patient safety and teach the patients to contact their healthcare professional if any of the following are experienced. Slow or weak pulse, difficulty breathing, wheezing, cold hands and feet, dizziness, lightheadedness, confusion, depression, rash, fever, sore throat, or if unusual bleeding or bruising occurs. Metaprolol should be used cautiously in those with renal impairment, hepatic impairment, pulmonary disease, diabetes mellitus, thyrotoxicosis, and patients with a history of severe allergic reactions. Also, the effects of metaprolol may be harmful to the fetus.